Hello. How is it going? We're technically on my gaming screen today because I my screen tablet size is approximately the same size as my typical video game shit, so yeah. Uh I don't know how to use this thing. I mean I know the general how to use this thing, but like It's hard to understand. I did figure out today that I can increase the size of the, um, the, like, various- where did my mouse go? Hello? There you are. Uh, I can increase the size of the UI on, like, one particular screen. So I did that, and that has helped me actually be able to, you know, read. Um, Everything else I'm still having trouble with. <laughs> Why isn't this clicking? Hello? Hello? Oh my god, this pin isn't working. The pin is not working with it! Why is the pin not working with it? Why is it on that screen? <laughs> oh, where's... where's... Okay. All right, pin display, working area. Why? Seriously? Uh, how do I change it? Haha, -ha, okay, okay, okay. It's on the correct thing now. I don't know if you can see. What on earth? What in the goddamn? I don't understand. I don't want the eyedropper. Why is all the UI... That is not where my mouse pointer is. That is... <laughs> I, you guys can't see it, because you see where it thinks the mouse is. Um, it is a, at least an inch away from where I'm actually drawing on the screen. <gasps> Okay, try full area. Okay, nope, nope, that is worse. That is worse. That is significantly worse. All right, let's calibrate. Hi. Boop. 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 Another terrible news. So the this screen tablet comes with like a little glove thing that you're supposed to wear while using it. How is it so bad? <laughs> what is this? What? Modern calibration. I'm gonna restore default. What? Hello? <laughs> I am suffering right now, let me tell you. I've somehow made it worse by doing whatever I just did. Is it doing this? I mean, on one hand, like, if this wasn't the opposite of what I wanted, that would be really cool. It makes it really easy to see, like, what I'm drawing. Uh, but on the other hand, this fucking sucks. You get a screen tablet so you can actually draw like you're drawing on paper. And it wasn't doing this before. It only started doing this because I stopped mirroring it from my main monitor. <laughs> All right, let's start Googling. Yay, I thought I worked out all the bullshit before stream, but I didn't. I just smacked my stream deck with my headphones cord. Okay, one tablet calibration. 
way off. Help. I don't know if it's like just an art program, slow. It seems to be. Let me just minimize this real quick. Yeah, okay, it's just in in art in, in Clip Studio. Okay, the thing that I did to help me, you know, be able to actually read fucking things on this tablet screen apparently fucks with it. Oh god, it's so hard to read. It's so tiny. And now it's worse. It's, it's objectively worse. It is significantly worse. Now instead, so previously, it was to the right of the pen now it's above the pen why okay it's recommending 100 percent how tiny is this going to get i'm supposed to click on stuff like this what hello oh it's not even drawing now Not even working. Alright, well... Fuck me, I guess. I guess I'm just going to... <sighs> Duplicate on one and two. Keep. And now, hopefully... Sorry? I'm sorry? What? What? That is not where my pants are! <laughs> oh, what did I click? I don't even know what I clicked. Return to paint. What? I'm gonna calibrate again. Maybe that will help. Something has have to has have gotta help. Wait, cancel? Oh, that's why. Custom area. There we go. Okay. Okay. Come on. Where's my pen? Oh god, why can you see everything? What the fuck? Oh, no, you can't. That was just about that. Okay. Um... Recommended... Sorry for all of this... debugging. I just would like to be able to use this properly. Um... But apparently it's, uh, broke everything. Broken. Boop, boop, boop. You can't see it, but there's a big ol' calibration screen on my thing right now. And my pen is not working on art canvases at all.
it's working! It's working! It's working! I got it working! Okay, 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 okay. Jesus fucking Christ, that should not have been this difficult. Why do I have an animation folder? Goodbye. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. And I I set up my my um my stream deck to have all the hotkeys I typically use because my drawing setup for all of this bullshit is awful. I I don't know how I feel about it just yet. Essentially, I had to move like half my setup to the other side of the desk <laughs> so that I could put my tablet here so that I could actually use my left hand to hit hotkeys like I typically do. Um, I'm right-handed, of course, and when I'm drawing on my iPad, I typically use my right hand to draw and then if I need to hit any buttons um, on my iPad or if I need to do anything uh, else, I typically use my left hand for like gestures and stuff, but uh, there's no buttons on this tablet. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's kind of funky, kind of weird. I'm not, I'm really unused to this sort of setup. And clicking buttons on my stream deck is very pleasing because it does make a good clicky noise, but it is a little bit annoying. But I'm just gonna deal with it because this is the better solution that I could find. Uh, oh, I don't like that. That's a little too dry. What's this one like? That's basically the same. What's this like? Oh, that's not bad. I just clicked a button, apparently. I needed it not... What did I click? Hello? What? I don't understand! I also don't understand, like, brushes in Clip Studio in the first one. It's just gone. What the fuck? Why is it so light? Why? No! I mean, it's smaller, not less opaque. What? I don't get it. I don't understand. Why does it do this? If I make it big again... I don't understand. <laughs> this is why I like my just- my basic bitch program. Because it doesn't confuse me like this. This is kind of close. It's- it's a little too gritty. Maybe I can change it? How do I change it? Is this how I change it? Ooh. Ink. Color jitter. What are these? I don't know what any of this means. Brush shape? Uh, brush tip? Uh. What's this do? Oh, I don't want to do that. Wait, what does that do? I can't even tell the difference. This is what I mean. I have to relearn everything again. Oh, you guys can't even see the little settings box I'm looking at. Um, it's a lot. What does this do? Nothing. <laughs> Circle? Ooh, okay. Okay, that does tell me something. That tells me that... Something in here is putting it at an angle, and I don't want it to be at an angle. How do I make it not an angle? Is that it? Stop clicking things you're not supposed to! Okay, that's still kind of... Can I have you not do that? Can I have you not do that? No? Fuck you. It won't let me not have an angle on it. I don't like this brush anymore. 
Uh, what's this? Disgusting. What's this? Hate it. It would be fun, but it's not what I want. Do I have any pat brushes in here? Can I make a brush? Can I steal the texture of the brush that I use in Sketchbook? <laughs> and bring it in here? <laughs> oh, let me open up Sketchbook. <laughs> oh my gosh. My brain keeps telling me, just turn it off and open up your iPad again, but I'm, I'm not going to. I'm going to fucking learn to use this tablet. It was very expensive, and it's very nice. It, it, it is nice to use once I get over myself, but the problem is getting over myself and getting past that initial, oh god, I'm shit at drawing again because I don't know what I'm doing. You get so used to the tools that you use. Why is Sketchbook being weird? Hey, Sketchbook, where are my brushes? Sketchbook? I have the distinct feeling that Sketchbook is attempting to put brushes on a third screen that no longer <laughs> exists. Uh, hang on, it's gonna do funky things again. Cause I have to bring back that third screen, cause I think that's where it's trying to put it. Keep changes to do. Yep, there it is. Where the frick? Oh my god. Eh. Up you go. Color wheel, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. You guys are not, though, because you're still all the way down there. Oh my sweet fucking Jesus. There is something terrible happening here. <gasps> what is happening? It's like the, uh, the calibration issues I was having, but ten times worse. Alright, holy hell. Duplicate on one and two. <laughs> Well, I'm never doing that again. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, I could steal my star brush too! My star brush is great. Okay, I want you. Let's see. Can I steal? Can I steal you? Can I have you? How do I steal you? Actually, I know. I am going to... How do I duplicate you? Hello! How's it going? I'm suffering right now. I just want you to know that. <laughs> I've I've made grave errors in judgment. <laughs> uh, let's see. We're going to make this new. No, don't save that. Uh, oh, you didn't- you didn't let me pick my canvas size. That's right. Sketchbook is a filthy bastard. I'll make you 500 by 500. Surely that's enough. Surely. And... what else do I do? Right now I'm trying to steal a brush from one program and put it in another. <laughs> and... Um, see, my, my tablet really, or my computer really doesn't want to connect to my iPad anymore, which is very unfortunate, because that is my main f way of drawing most days. Uh, and I've been trying to learn how to use this screen tablet I got, um, a while back, because it's very nice, and it is really nice to be able to draw directly on my computer again. Uh... The problem is, it doesn't want to let me do the things that I want to do. Let's 
save as Yeehaw. Oh, don't save in there. Save somewhere else. Save in there. Okay, let's try this again. How do I make a brush in Clip Studio? <laughs> Asking for a friend. Uh, no, that just adds an existing one. I want to make a new brush. Can I duplicate you? Duplicate. I don't know what these mean. Okay. I now have basic two, and if I go in here, and if I go here, go here. Hmm, that's not what I want. Can I just upload a fucking PNG? Can I just upload a fucking PNG? Hello? I just want to upload a PNG! <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of swearing today, and I apologize for it. Um, but there's not much I can do about it. Because this is just angering me so much. I just want to add Yeehaw here as a PNG that I can use as a fucking pin tip. If I just type yeehaw, will that tell me? No, no, that won't work. I don't know what these user tags are, Clip Studio. I don't speak Japanese! Clip Studio! Use custom pin shape. Please help. <laughs> Please help, internet. <laughs> oh, just wait, just wait. This th this program lets me do so much more. Have you have you seen my edit of of me as a as a love Nikki character? If I can get this fucking working, I'm gonna have so many tools at my disposal to do so many terrible terrible things with JPEGs. <laughs> okay, I don't need that anymore because I fixed that. Uh. How do I add custom sheep? Watch a YouTube video! I'm streaming! This is 20 minutes long?! What? Name custom brush, types of brushes, center brushes. I don't care about any of this. What the fuck is this? What? Go away. Pretty material, huh, baby? <laughs> I just want to add my own brush! Oh, I accidentally drew on the canvas. Uh, I brushed the sheet. No, it's not what I want. Can I drag this somewhere in here and work? Get it to work? Uh, if you uploaded it today, I have not been on Tumblr much yet today, but I will see it eventually when I go to sleep, probably. Edit, register material, image. Oh, 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 I found it! It was yesterday? I must have missed it. Uh, brush tip say. And... Can I add a folder? Can I add a folder? Can I please fucking add a folder, you piece of fucking shit? Ah. Uh, uh... 
this thing and going to murder it with fire and brimstone and lava and all sorts of terrible, terrible things. Oh my god, I have it! Yes. Yes. Why do you look like that? That is incorrect. Oh no. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on though. I can fix this. I can fix it now. I can make it better. I can make it happier. Uh, brush tip. Let's see. I don't need any of that. I don't need that. I don't need that. Pattern. Texture. Brush shape. What do these things mean? I just, I wanted to taper with pressure. understand these pen settings clip studio these don't make sense i need you to explain them in stupid people terms because i am not a very smart person okay i do dumb things <laughs> oh god stabilization no delete it get out of here although i will probably need it later because <laughs> i'm trying to do things that are dumb but like why why oh it does have a little bit of print pressure okay um, that is not what my pen should look like still. That looks very, very odd. Uh, I need, like, randomization. But not with color, with location. Watercolor edge, what does that do? Oh, I don't like that. Actually, I kind of like that. Does Clip Studio not have randomization for pressures? Randomization brush settings. Hello? Brush tip. Like there's no there's no settings in here. These have random on this other brush. This still looks very wrong. Like this is not what what this should look like at all. Um 
I can pull up sketchbook if you guys want to see what it looks like in there, but like this is very blocky still. It is fun, I will give it that, but the way that this brush texture is designed, it's supposed to like randomly change directions constantly, and there's no option for that. There's only flip horizontal and flip vertical. I'm not a fan. Oh! Is that what I want? Oh, we're getting somewhere. <gasps> There's my beautiful boy. It's still like... It's too smooth. I think I need to adjust the density. No, no, that's like more uh, opacity. Um... Beautiful boy, you're you're alive. Uh, how do I clear this? Clear, 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 clear. Why is there no clear layer button? Oh, there's my beautiful boy. It's actually there's something about the uh. What's it called? Um, the pressure sensitivity that feels different. It may just be this is a different pen. It also could be I need to find another setting. What's this button? Every artist I have ever spoken to swears by this program, but <laughs> I just, I'm not seeing it. I'm not feeling it. And I would like to say that it's because it just doesn't have the brushes that I like, but this is literally the brush I use. <laughs> But, like, it just, it's doing weird things with, with the pressure sensitivity that I don't like. I don't think I've used IBS, uh, IBIS, blah, 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 blah. I usually use Sketchbook. Uh, the iPad version is superior in my opinion, but hang on, let me... Hi, welcome to Sketchbook. It's a little blank, don't worry about it. Oh, also don't worry about the giant, uh... <laughs> that was for stealing the, the, the texture of the brush. This is the same brush texture. Like... What? <laughs> it looks completely different! <laughs> Hello? Oh, let me just bump up the variation of sensitivity i guess maybe it's just because i can control like the maximum size and the minimum size maybe that's why i don't know 
Uh, this technically has a stabilizer. I don't know if that's what you use, but I don't... I don't use it. It looks the same whether I, I use it or not. I have been using it more on my iPad for a particular art style I'm trying to do just because I like having like crunchy lines when I'm drawing normally, but the art style I'm trying to emulate uh, cannot have crunchy lines very specifically. Like it's the opposite of what that's supposed to be. And my square brush. Look at this. It's the it's my favorite brush. It's it's the best brush in the world. It's beautiful. It's so useful. That's a lie. This brush is this brush is truly my favorite thing ever. <laughs> I <laughs> I think I've seen a little bit of it. Um, but to be perfectly honest, my memory is garbage. So I also probably don't remember. <laughs> I'm working on my memory problems. Unfortunately, as it is with memory problems, it's very difficult. Oh, I see your Louis styling. That's beautiful. Okay. You know what? I'm just... <laughs> I'm just gonna not bother with- oh, I don't need that video. I'm not gonna bother with Clip Studio today. Yeah, please do. I- I love seeing everybody's art and stuff. I- I giggle ma maniacally whenever I see my friend's art on Tumblr. All of them. I'm just gonna practice drawing on this with a program that I know I can appreciate. Yeah, there's just something about this that I'm I'm struggling with still. It's been a while since I've used a computer tablet, and this is my first time using a screen computer tablet. Like, it's the first one I've bought. Um, and it feels very different. My iPad is the first time I've used a screen tablet ever, and I very much enjoy drawing on that. Um... But, like, I, you have to get used to, like, how a computer feels <laughs> to draw on again. And it feels weird. It really does, once you get used to drawing on something for so long. And you're just like, what the hell is all of this? What is this Windows 10 bullshit? I'm mostly just fucking around because like so I was going to work on animatic stuff today um because I'm insane and I've gotten a new animatic idea uh that I've completely pivoted to working on that instead of the other animatic ideas that I've been procrastinating that I'm halfway through <laughs> on one and the other I just I need to start it um and now I'm working on another one that's my life. And then this whole weekend, I'm probably just going to be sewing. Because uh, I have a cosplay I'm working on. First cosplay I've made. Uh, but it's it's going to be cool. Oh, hello. I see a notification. That... Oh. I, 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 I think I have seen the... the... Oh, fuck. I am so sorry I'm about to butcher her name. The Conciella? Um... Evilist Chronicles? I think I've seen that one. Yeah. Uh, 
I am quite terrible at keeping up with people's side blogs. Uh, separate blogs, unless you have like the same name <laughs> in the, the blog name, are just completely separate people to me. <laughs> I just, I gave up on, on trying to keep track. <laughs> Conchita. Conchita. Thank you, I appreciate that. Oh, why did I give you elf here? So this is not very ambrosia. This is still baby scientist. Hasn't committed war crimes yet, ambrosia. <laughs> Yeah. I don't I don't really understand kin stuff, I'm not gonna lie. But I do love Eagleist Chronicles. Wow, look at them. They exist. On my computer. Okay, describing it like that makes a hell of a lot more sense than other explanations for kin stuff. <laughs> In general, every time though I'm like I'm trying to understand, like I, I, I go read people's stuff on it and I'm just like you, you just hear the, the, the dial tone of the phone. <laughs> I need colors. Where color? Toy house. Gift color, please. Actually, I should work with the, um... The palette I'm trying to practice. So, part of this art style that I'm trying to figure out is that the... Just the general palette of colors used is very different than what I'm used to. Um, it's a lot more pastel -y in general, but it, it, it's... And I think it's I think it's the low contrast really is what's getting me because I do a lot of very high contrast things But there's a lot lo What the fuck just happened? Hello? 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 I'm sorry <laughs> What? Hello? What just happened? Um <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Do you see what's happening to my my screen? <gasps> Are we good? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck just happened to my canvas. I've never seen that happen in this. Uh, my computer's haunted. Our pro our, our program haunted. Get the gun. Get the gun, please. Thank you. <laughs> Which brush is this? Um. Oh, cool. It's a. Uh, it's not drawing. Hello. Why aren't you drawing? I... You know what? I'm just gonna... Save and quit. Because art program haunted. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but I didn't like it. Okay, are we? We are still broken. What is happening? What is happening? No, I 
can't even steal it back because I hit the layer. What on earth? Maybe if I turn off my screen tablet for a second. Oh, well, hey, that's working now. Why isn't this? Oh my god, it deleted it? What? What? I don't understand what just happened. It just completely broke everything. I don't get it. I don't understand. You know what? You know what? That one is just cursed. I'm just gonna open up a new one and I'm gonna put it at my normal canvas height and width. And we're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Uh, I don't know what happened there. All I can say is, our program's haunted. <laughs> Help? Where? This is not my correct tool set. Please pin my correct tool set. Thank you. I don't know why half my tools have upside down icons, but they do. Oh no, that's all of the. That's all of them. They all have upside down icons. I don't know why they have that, <laughs> but they do. <laughs> it probably doesn't help. So, like, history of Sketchbook. Sketchbook was originally owned by Autodesk, and they eventually sold it to some other people. And if you had the iPad version of the program, you kind of got grandfathered in. I'm so sorry, I just bumped my mic. You, you kind of got grandfathered into their new stuff until at some point they finally were just like, no, you had to pay us like two bucks to get all your premium stuff back. And I was just like, honestly, that's a steal. I used to pay 30 bucks of it like a year for this thing. Um, but they, uh, <laughs> they have the purchases, I think, of the desktop version and the iPad version separate now. Because, again, it's it's only, like, two bucks to get everything on the iPad, which, like, is a steal, honestly. Hell yeah. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> this is not the new company's version of Sketchbook. <laughs> this is still Autodesk Sketchbook. Because I refuse to delete this version of Sketchbook off my computer because it means I will never have it again. So I'm essentially using, like, a re- like- not only am I already using a really shitty program to draw in, I'm using an incredibly outdated version of the shitty program from before it was put into the hands of people who are actually, like, putting useful things into it. <laughs> I, um... I could buy their version of Sketchbook for desktop. But I already have it, so why bother? <laughs> this is why people look at me in horror whenever I start describing my experiences drawing uh, digitally. Because I just... <laughs> I use the just weirdest things. Honestly, most of my craft experiences are like people. People either look in at uh, in at in horror or in awe of just the weird shit I do. <laughs> the other day, what was it I was doing? Um, I mean, so I have gel nails, nail polish now that I've been I've been playing with. I, I've truly been becoming the love Nikki in real life. I'm making clothes, I'm doing my nails, what the hell. Um, but uh, I, I don't have a nail UV lamp. <laughs> I have a, um, a really high wattage one that I use for resin stuff. <laughs> and I was just like, like, I know UV isn't great for your skin. 
But why should I bother getting any one of these random lamps that I see on, like, Amazon that, like, half the reviews are people saying it doesn't cure properly, when I've got a perfectly good, strong UV lamp already? <laughs> that definitely won't blind me if I accidentally look into it without UV protection glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have this wonderful little setup where I, I paint a couple nails and then I grab my my wonderful little UV lamp and then I shine it on there for, for 60 seconds and I'm good and it works great. I don't need an expensive UV <laughs> lamp. This thing was like 20 bucks, like, oh, why do I bother getting another one for like 30 or 40? Honestly, truly. Uh... But there's other things, like, I saw somebody, um... They, they use hot glue in like silicone filigree molds and i was just like i want to try that i've got a bunch of silicone molds let me see if i can do that and i start doing it and i was just like oh it's not really getting in there let me just push it in and then i burned myself and i was like oh yeah hmm. probably shouldn't do that huh or like some of the, just the most atrocious sewing on a couple of things i've made where it's just like i couldn't quite get it to work the way it was supposed to so i kind of just like I got it to work. Very incorrectly, but it works. It holds. It's not gonna snag. Probably. It'll definitely snag, actually. But I'm careful, it's fine. <laughs> I'm I'm very much of the mindset of if it's not broken, you don't gotta fix it. Or like my poor phone that uh <laughs> it's it's on its last legs it is almost certainly on its last legs and i'm quite certain every time i open up shining nikki it dies faster no worries no worries i'm just hanging out practicing art today because lord do i need it I hope you have a excellent Friday and a good time. Okay, sketchbook, sketchbook, I love you. Please, for the love of fucking God, do not immediately crash the moment I try to import anything into you. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna save. <laughs> I'm gonna save real quick. It's PSD. Yeehaw too. Yeah, sure, that works. Please, please don't crash. I love you. You're, you're my most wonderful, horrible, gremlin darling. Please. Okay. You're you're doing fantastic so far. Where did my layers go? There's my layers. Okay. You're doing so good. Don't crash. I just want you to not crash. Okay, good job. Good job, friend. Good job, little buddy. Holy hell. I will say, adding these hotkeys to my stream deck was actually a fantastic idea. They've been really helpful so far. I've only added a few. I added um, undo, redo, copy and paste, of course. And then I have the eyedropper, um, the hotkey for moving around the canvas, and the hotkey for moving something on the canvas around. Um, that's basically all the hotkeys I use, so like I'm good to go. Uh, where is the- I think these were the skin tones. Where's my brush? 
I'm gonna move you over here. Cause I like you over here better. I know you guys can't see all the windows that I am utilizing. But just know that they're there, haunting me. Oh, I like this peach better. I hate using pure white, but it kind of seems like they use pure white in the style. It's gross, though. It's really gross. I have a vendetta against pure white. Not going to lie. And they can forgive me for not using pure white. It's pretty slight indifference so far, but it is noticeable using a different palette. Let me grab Ambrosia for comparison. Here's a good one. Snipping tool. I love that the snipping tool for the past like two years had that little um a warning, we're gonna delete this. And then they just <laughs> if you just kept using it, they never deleted it. <laughs> like, it's not like they could delete it directly off your computer or anything. Yeah, like, it's a lot bluer. It's a lot cooler in tone in general. My normal art is very warm-toned. So, boo, maybe if I just shift it a little colder, that's all I really need to do? Yeah, I'm looking up here. Like, the, the gold is and the, the reddish-orange is obviously still pretty warm. Uh, but like the skin tone and everything else is very cool toned. So maybe that's all I needed to do. Now here's a question. I believe this is, yeah, that's my pin. I'm not noticing the stabilizer doing its job, but it could just be that I am stupid. That's always an option. Also, the, um, this is pressure size is off. That's about right. I'll just go ahead and clear that. I need to swap where those two buttons are. I think I just need a new version of this because I believe I need the 
size supposed to be the same? It's supposed to not have the taper. And I think I want this to be a 2.5. I think I need it to be bigger for this particular drawing, so maybe 4. Yeah. I am not liking the stabilizer in this version of the program. I need it for the style because it relies heavily on, like, perfect looking lines, but the stabilizer is having issues. It works very differently from the stabilizer in the iPad version. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's very very faint, but there's like a line that's dragging behind where I'm dragging my pin, and that's how it's determining <laughs> the stabilizer line. It's not actually like where I'm drawing, it's where this little draggy thing is, which mathematically is a really cool way of thinking about stabilizing a line. Um. But it's really hard to work with! <laughs> also, I have to cough one second. <coughs> like, mathematically, it's like a really stable pendulum, essentially. I'm not really sure how to describe it. It's interesting, though. I mean, it makes some nice curves, it's just... Like, I can't get it to, to connect correctly without zooming in super far, which I don't want to do. Hello! How's it going? I am struggling. <laughs> it just, it works really weird. Like, that's a bad line. That's a bad line. That's also a bad line. Like, I, I, I'm expecting a larger loop, but it, like, because of the way the stabilizer is working, it's not giving me it. <laughs> Please. Ugh. It's hard to predict, is the big thing. Which, stabilizers in general are kind of hard for me to predict, so maybe I'm not the best, like, person to say, <laughs> to judge on that. But I was getting somewhere with the one in the iPad version. Ugh. You disgust me, Autodesk sketchbook. The way in uh, the newer version of sketchbook on the iPad it works, it's like it determines like the curvature of the line you were attempting to draw like i i swear it's fucking generating some sort of mathematical equation because half the time it gives me a straight line and half the time it gives me just a perfect curve that is almost certainly calculated by some sort of black magic mathematical expression that i know exists and i have calculated before but i am glad i have forgotten because that shit was hard um but like it, it would take the point where you started the the stroke and the p point that you ended the stroke and then it would do some sort of weird predicting thing to get those curves right and it was really difficult to understand what it was doing at first because i had no idea what the fuck a stabilizer was in the first place other than it makes your lines look prettier question mark um but as soon as i figured that out i was like oh i can predict what this is doing really easily like that's fantastic that's great this is weird. 
I don't understand this. I don't like it. It's weird. I don't- this is why I don't like stabilizer tools. I just like my shitty, gritty sketchiness. But I have to learn stabilizer tools for the thing that I want to do. Which will almost certainly be drawn on iPad, so I don't know why I'm bothering with this. Um, but you know, it, it's always nice to learn new things. How's it going, Philip? I'm- I've been on a rant today. <laughs> I had to finish before I could greet you. I'm so sorry. It just... It, it doesn't make clean lines. It makes cleaner lines, but it doesn't make clean lines. That's what I like about the other one. Like, that would have been the right line. I need it. It almost makes vectors. Oh, I didn't mean to... I, I, I borked it. All of these lines are bad and I don't like them. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna turn off the stabilizer. It it's my eternal enemy. It will always be my enemy. It's very rude to me and I don't like it. See, look, I don't need a stabilizer. I draw great lines without a stabilizer. But I don't draw perfect lines, which is why the other stabilizer helps me. When I'm doing that particular art style, when I'm doing my normal art style, I like these lines better. I could go on a rant about stabilizers for a while. It took me a long time, actually, to warm up to the idea of using a stabilizer. Um, I've known about them for years. And Sketchbook has had this one for a while. And it added the, the one in um, the iPad version. Uh, a while ago as well, so like, it's been there staring me in the face for a long time, but m I mostly only knew where the icon was because I just needed to know where it was when I accidentally pressed it to turn it on. Because <laughs> I, I just, I don't use them. They, they make it more difficult to me to draw. Um... Nine times out of ten. Like, the ones in Procreate, I I literally, I hate Procreate brushes so much. Because the stabilizer isn't, like, a global setting. It's on every individual fucking brush. And you can't just turn it off. And it's so annoying, because I just want to turn it off on every single brush. But no, I have to go into... All 100, 200 brushes that I have and turn it off individually because some schmuck thought, hey, let's make this a brush setting. Which, like, on one hand, I'm like, you know, that actually is pretty cool that you can adjust it per brush. But I would rather there also be an option for you to dis disable it entirely because a lot of people, like, you know, me, don't use stabilizers. They get in my way. Literally, the first time I opened up Procreate and I, I tried to use a brush, I I drew a line and I was like, because I was like, this is on my iPad still, it should be super easy to get used to. I picked up Sketchbook on the iPad like I was breathing, it was so easy. Like, there's no way this is going to be difficult, and I started drawing and I was like, oh, what is this? This is horrible. It's like wading through molasses syrup. If you're an artist who uses stabilizer tools, by the way, I'm not judging you. You're- it's perfectly- use the tools at your disposal. This is my personal beef with it because my brain- my tiny brain can't comprehend how to use a stabilizer tool. <laughs> my- my brain sees a stabilizer tool and it starts barking like a dog angrily. <laughs> Not because they're 
bad. I like I love seeing art that like clearly is a stabilizer tool because it looks so clean and polished. Like hell yeah. I just don't do it. I just can't. <laughs> I'm sad that my, like, usage of jank software has only ever extended to sketchbooks specifically. Because I want to learn stuff like MMD and, uh... Blender and stuff like that, but my brain can't comprehend those programs. I think it. I think it's because I can process two D on a screen super easily, but anything three D on on a display screen is very difficult for me to understand. I think I actually have troubles with um, depth perception in real life. I do run into things all the time on accident. Because uh, I misjudge the distance, uh, like how close I am to it. So I, I don't really know how to test for that sort of thing. <laughs> but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a, that's just a thing I've got going on. So whenever I've tried to use like 3D art programs, I've just had a lot of trouble with them, and it actually sometimes happens when I'm playing games in 3D too. It doesn't happen as noticeably because my brain kind of wraps itself around the fact of being in a 3D space. Uh, in a 2D plane in a weird way, I can't really describe it. I'm honestly genuinely surprised I don't get motion sick. Because I would have, like, if somebody else described this experience to me, I'd just be like, do you get motion sick all the time? I didn't get motion sick from VR, actually. Interestingly, it was really strange. Like, I had no problems with it other than the fact that I had a massive headache afterwards. <laughs> Which might be related to the fact that I take off my glasses at every given chance because they give me headaches. And it might just have been like everything was just too crisp in VR. Uh, and I'm, my brain's not used to it, it's used to just letting things blur out. Uh, or it could just be, like, again, depth perception is weird to my brain. Or it could have been the particular game that I was beta testing, slash alpha testing, slash just testing in general, uh, for another group of students in high, uh, not high school, in college, uh, which is why I was using the VR headset. It could have just been that it was that particular game. I have no idea. If VR wasn't so expensive to get into, I would try it out again to see if it was just that particular experience. Because it also could have been that particular headset was very uncomfortable. Uh, could be any number of things. Brains are weird. But yeah, I've never gotten motion sick ever. Not even on stuff like roller coasters. Uh, I'm actually very upset because <laughs> I, I really enjoy roller coasters, but I can't enjoy them anymore because my boobs hurt when I go on them because it moves too fast. <laughs> I haven't played a Facebook game in so long. I'm finally free of my desire to play Farmville again. Because if there's anything that gets my attention way too quickly, it's fucking mobile games. <laughs> I'm really sad that there's nothing like Farmville anymore, that at least that I've found. I very much enjoyed Farmville. <laughs> I miss it. I just want to make my stupid little farm. And you know, I would make my own, but Unity's a bunch of fucking trash now. I can't do it. And I don't like Unreal, and I have to learn Goling if I want to use uh, that engine. 
I know I know you can use it in C sharp, but I still have to learn the engine itself. Go dot, that's what it's called. Sorry, I mixed it up with the language. Oh, that's also called Go. Uh, but yeah, that's the one I'm I'm interested in learning. It's just I have to actually learn how to use it and set time to learn how to use it. But the thing is, I've got like five different projects going on at the same time. And some of those have deadlines that are in November, like early November. And I so, yeah, I don't have time right now. And you may be asking yourself, why am I wasting time drawing randomly in this art program instead of working on those projects? I was going to be working on those projects today, but Air Server would not let me. <laughs> oh, I should do the nose. I need to, I need to disclaimer, disclaimer before I draw this nose. I don't enjoy drawing noses like this, but it's a... He, it's an integral part of the style and I'm trying excuse me, I had a little hiccup I'm trying to learn this art style so it means I have to yes, yes, very much so and they have guides for like transferring your unity knowledge to Godot uh, a lot of people are doing those right now so it'll make it even easier um I'm also interested in looking at a couple other engines. I've had some interest in RPG Maker for quite a while, um, but I just, I simply don't make the kinds of games that, like, I don't want to make the kinds of games that RPG Maker is good for. I'm interested in doing some sort of visual novel bullshit at some point, and it looks like the uh, engine that Doki Doki Literature Club runs on, uh, I think it's called Rimply or something like that. Um, that is a, a, a well, well-known, well-used, uh, well-liked visual novel engine, so I'm, I'm interested in looking at that as well. I'm just trying to get through the projects that I have right now before I open up another can of worms, like I've already done this week. <laughs> but it, it's, it's been on the brain, it's been on the mind. I'm probably going to learn uh, Renpai before anything else. Yeah, no, it looks really fun. And I actually do really well with visual engines. Or, like, just, like, not actually coding, but just kind of, like, putting building blocks together. I, I, I do that really well. So it looked like it would be interesting. It's just... I don't want to make a top-down, like, or a pixelated game. And I don't know if there's support for things that are not those things in RPG Maker, because that's all I've really seen out of RPG Maker. That's what it's really made to do. And as much as I love doing very jank things <laughs> to programs that should not have these things done them to you, sketchbook, um, I just don't see a reason to fight learning a game engine that's designed for a specific purpose when the purpose I want to use it for is completely different. I might, I, sh I just need to go find a different engine for that. Godot seems very much up my alley. It's pretty similar looking to Unity and what I needed out of Unity. Uh, and the other engine I mentioned were, would work perfectly fine with uh, visual novels, so... I just don't need to stress about it. Uh, yeah, I saw that you could import your own assets. Do they have to be pixeled? Like, how large are you can what? How large can I put an asset into it? Does it have to be top down? Can it be a platformer? Like, uh, RPG Maker 
at least to my understanding, is made with a very specific subset of genres in mind, and a very specific way of moving and doing certain battle things where it's kind of old school. It's turn-based or it's um, turn-based, but it's like Undertale style, stuff like that. Uh, and that's just simply the opposite of games that I want to make. I want to make platformers, I would like to make uh, eventually metroidvanias, I would like to make something similar to a visual novel, um, but I'm not interested in top-down RPGs or side-scroller RPGs like Undertale. Well, not Undertale, um, what is it? Undertale is Undertale's top-down. <sighs> Brain dead. I did see that RPG Maker does have a visual novel engine as well, though. Uh, but the reviews on it were not great, and in fact, the reviews are where I found out about the engine called Runpy. Because <laughs> somebody was just like, unless you need specifically this thing in it, just go use Runpy. And I was just like, oh, ouch, yikes, big oof. That's- that's not what you want in your reviews. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was seeing. That that's definitely something I'm looking into. I just have to see if it has the capabilities beyond just visual novel like basic functionality if it has the capability that I need it to have. 90% of the idea I had for a visual novel game uh, should be capable of being made in any visual novel engine. Um, I should do a couple little, little tiny things that I'd like. A little, little bits of spice. Hello, how's it going? Another hiccup. Actually, let me finish coloring this. 
I kind of want to go look at Rinpai right now. <laughs> now that we're talking about it, now I want to go look at it. My, my crow brain is striking again. It wants to go look at the new shiny thing. This is why I keep starting animatics in the middle of other animatics. Crow brain sees shiny new idea and goes, Ooh, I want that now. Fuck that old project you were working on. What? It was gonna be your magnum opus? Nah. Go animate this frog dump doing a, a little funny dance <laughs> instead. <laughs> Every time I'm working on an animatic, I just want you guys to know, I'm constantly fighting, like, 15 little demon guys on my shoulder going, Hey, have you- you were listening to their song recently, weren't you? Don't you wanna- don't you wanna make an animatic to that too now? Why don't we- why don't you just go ahead and start out- Oh, look, oh, there's a 16th song that's just come out that you've just listened to the first time. Don't you wanna make it- make an animatic to that? And I'm just like, yeah, I do wanna make a fucking animatic to that, but you know what? I'm working on something else! <laughs> it is a constant, constant losing battle. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just like, look, okay, little demon on my shoulder. What if I draw you a little bit of a sketch? What if I make you a sketch and I put that in my work in progress folder and I go work on the thing that I'm fucking working on? And then the demon is appeased for a little bit and the demon goes, hey, you already did the sketch to that, didn't you? Why don't you just add a little bit more? <laughs> it's a constant battle. <laughs> I used to laugh at the people who were just like, Oh yeah, you know, I've got like, you know, 500 work in progresses in my back folders. And now, I like, I was just like, oh, 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 that's really funny. I only ever have like one or two, you know, because I, I start on a project and then I finish it. My poor iPad, every time it loads Sketchbook, has to load like... 50 files, and I wish that was an exaggeration, but I'm pretty sure I have 50 active files in Sketchbook right now. And I I feel so bad for the poor thing every time I load it up, especially because at least three or four of those at any given moment are an animatic folder, which does mean it has like a hundred different layers in it. Every time. It's doing its best. That's why whenever whenever sketchbook on my iPad crashes, I'm just like, you know what? That's fair. Honestly, same. However, whatever witchcraft sketchbook on my computer like today was doing earlier in the stream, I don't know what the fuck that was about. That was weird. That was really weird. That was kind of scary, actually. <laughs> I'm fairly certain my computer is haunted now, um, by- by the- the spirit of Sketchbook Past. <laughs> I'm gonna get a cease and desist letter from, uh, the- the people who own Sketchbook now and be like, Look, guy, we, we had to remove all the previous versions of Sketchbook because they were haunted. Why are you still using it? Why have you opened it up again? You've- you've resurrected all of the ghosts we finally exercised from this place, and now we have to deal with them again. And you do this every six months. We don't understand why you keep doing this. Please, please delete Sketchbook off your computer. <laughs> I think that's what's happening here. I think I'm going to get that letter. There is actually a Reddit for a uh, for sketchbook, and like I want to post in there, but Reddit still scares me. I'm getting more comfortable with it finally, after after people have begged me to to go onto Reddit, which I don't understand why. 
It is... There's surprisingly calm areas, but it's still like the cesspool that it's been dis previously described to me as. So I have no idea why people wanted me to go on there. I basically go into like two subreddits, which are just the ball jointed doll community and uh, the cultist simulator slash book of hours one because, you know, I actually play the game. And it's great talking to people there about it. Um, and I mostly just lurk in a couple other ones, like the sketchbook one um, and the Love Mickey one. But for the most part, it's just like, everyone here scares me. My proportions are so off because I'm so unused to uh, drawing on this tablet. Ambrosia's face is too long. This was helpful in helping me figure out color palettes in this style though. Obviously not this style, Um, this is still kind of my normal style with a couple additions in the color palette change. Mm. I'm not sure how I feel about it, in general, still. I do really want to look at Red Pie now. <laughs> oh, we talked about it! Hmm. Let me see, how difficult will this be to install? The Rin Pi Visual Novel Engine. I want to download it. Wait, what is... What are you use? Oh no, I don't know Python! Oh no! <laughs> I don't know Python scripting. Um... Hmm... I think I'm going to make something very cursed in this. But... It will be funny. Yeah, that's way too fucking small for anything I'd want to make, fellow. 48 by 48? Which, it makes perfect sense for, for RPG Maker itself, it's just way too tiny for me. Run anyway, you piece of shit! Uh, no, don't extract there. We want to go to Applications. Just me, I burped. Green pie. Okay, we're gonna go over here. Mini, 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 mini. Uh, application. Oh, cool, it's just extract and go. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is very interesting. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. Are 
you saying sprites as in like image sprites? I'm going to Holy shit, I have so many things open. Why? That is the incorrect display. Okay, hi, welcome to my desktop. It's beautiful, yes, I'm aware. Uh, I have Visual Studio Code already. I don't, no, well, don't install it. I have it already. I, it's right here. Oh, that's Visual Studio. It's right here. <laughs> Okay, I have it already. Nice! Cool! Excellent! Ooh! Hello, this is the Renpai tutorial game. It's actually a fairly bad example! <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just you spelled it... Not the way it's spelled, like... That's how you spell sprite for, like... A game sprite. Ah, uh, but okay, I'm going to check out the question instead. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh -uh. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, there's music. How do I go back? Let me out of this, 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 let me out of this. <laughs> 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 fucking jump scared me. <laughs> the music is so loud, why? <laughs> why was it so loud? <laughs> I know you guys can't hear it, because I have my desktop audio muted. <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. Can I... can I... can I... Please... Turn the fucking down. Okay, it's interesting. So a lot of this is very cookie cutter. Because I remember the... Um... Doki Doki Literature Club looking very similar to this. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, it's just, it's learning what I have to work with. Okay, I'm looking at the GUI folder right now. Um, I'm trying to find if I'm allowed to mess with that. Ooh, okay, here's Python in here. I don't know how Python works. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So this is made to work web, iOS, Android, which is nice. Screens, what's this? Mm. Okay, that is... On the GUI folder, GUI bar. Okay, I'm I'm just pulling this out. Yeah, 
Yes, I see Sprinkle and Philip. I, uh, Doki Doki Literature Club is the example that was made in Renpai that made me consider it for the project that I want to make it in this. Uh, because Doki Doki Literature Club does some funky things that I wasn't, like, that push the limits a little bit of visual novels. And the things that I would like to do definitely push the limits of what you would expect in a purely visual novel editor. Um, but I, I need, I'm trying to figure out the limitations of the customization in Rampai. I don't know a lot of games offhand that are in Rampai because I don't actually play visual novels. I just watch other people play <laughs> <laughs> and most of them are not made in this. I, I like. I, I very much enjoy the Ace Attorney series. I like Danganronpa. Uh, most recently, I very much enjoyed watching Raincoat, um, by the same people who made Danganronpa. But a lot of those are like in their own purported special engine. An old game. Her tears were my light. That game name sounds. Very familiar. Oh, that's so cute! I love the art style! Oh my gosh! Adorable? Was this made in Rimpai? It was made in Rimpai. Okay. I'm seeing some things on here that are good, offhand, that I would want. <laughs> oh, please send me, like, good examples that, like, just, like, break the, like, um, not necessarily break the script, but, uh, just taking Doki Doki Literature Club, for example, they have moments in the game where... Uh, like, Monica straight up breaks the UI several times. Um, now, breaking the UI isn't something I plan to do, but being able to kind of just break the mold a little bit is something I would be interested in being able to do. There, I, I was figuring that I had, like, a strong chance that I wouldn't be able to make this in a visual novel engine, and I would have to use a different engine, and then essentially code the visual novel code into it. <laughs> Which didn't sound fun. Uh, so I was looking at other options. This is so interesting. I like the way this is written. It's very easy to follow. And remember, these are the, um, the variable names. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. Okay. And you said I could play videos in this if I wanted to. Because that would be very helpful. What did they jump to later? Okay. I might mess around with this more. Um... <laughs> I want to talk about it, Andy. Hey, listen. <laughs> I'm doing my best. <laughs> I'm just making it clear that I should not be trusted to be in charge. 
just like everybody else in the party. <laughs> None of us should be allowed to be in charge of anything, and yet people keep putting us in charge of things. Uh, MPEG. Okay, yeah, that's fine. As long as I can put it in MP4 format, I think I'm good. But I'm pretty sure I can also export in one of those formats for this, so I'd be fine. Uh, fucking VSDC has a lot of formats. But it lets you dump things in. Let me double check. I think if I do it to PC... Yeah! Yeah, it has MPEG as an option. I usually just do uh, MP4, though. Where do they have the music? Oh, they just have it in here? Interesting. And it looks like Rimpy has RPY for script files. What is RPYC though? Open anyway. <gasps> okay, alright. My apologies, sir. Maybe that's some sort of. Oh, is it a backup? Uh, yes, please no not safe for work. Any, any, I have told you, I'm dumb. I hear you say, hey, don't fuck with this person. And then I completely misinterpret what you have said. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> um, I would say fantasy. High fantasy, um, anything with wizards, of course. Uh, anything that really breaks the mold, like, isn't just your typical visual novel, you go through options and you make choices. If it does anything where it surprised you in any way, or it surprised other people in any way, where it was something that they just simply did not expect... Uh, that's outside of the writing. Um, wizards. Wizards. With a W. Wizard. <laughs> wizards. <laughs> it's my favorite genre. <laughs> um, otherwise, honestly, I guess if it has any mini games. Actually, that would be a good thing as well, to see what, what the limitations of those are in, in this engine. Um, cause like, Doki Doki Literature Hat Club had the, the poem minigame, but I'm not sure, like, how much of that was pushing the limits. Cause I could see how they could do that without actually pushing the limits of this game. Um... Even though it probably isn't something you would expect. <laughs> Cause like all you'd have to do is like edit the way that the uh the choice menu is and then have all of those options as static variables that like I don't know, it's pretty easy. Therapy with Dr. Albert Kruger. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, you'll hear me say that a lot. It's not out of judgment, it's just like I don't know how to- <laughs> it's just weird. It just catches me off guard. Oh. Hmm. I like- you know- I like the art style. Oh, okay, yeah. Yes. Yes. I take back my work the fuck. The- the- just from the little- the little gif 
things that this tells me the things I need to know. Thank you. I'm going to have to learn Python. I am not looking forward to learning Python. <laughs> Python has scared me for many years. <laughs> uh, I want to look at... What's this? Do I have this open? What's this? I don't understand what this is. Is this style? Am I allowed to style things? It doesn't look like I'm allowed to style things. It looks like I'm, it's pretending to let me style things, but it doesn't actually look like I can style things. Properties, GUI, text, properties. Oh, wait. Oh? What are, what is GUI text properties? Is this? Oh, there's some styling. Um, let's go up a little bit. There we go. This is what I was looking for. Some nice CSS. Um, what else is in here? There's saves. Images. Can I change the things that I want to change, though? That's just slighter stuff. I don't care about that. That is... Oh, there's the main menu overlay. Okay. Can I change what the main menu looks like? Other than just the- oops, sorry, I'm so sorry I bumped that again. It looks like no, I can only change the background image. Can I change the dialog box image? Did they do it in this game? It looks like they did. Because I would like it to be different. I like making my UI fancy looking.
really? I fucking love Long Live the Queen. Okay, okay, yeah, oh my god, I could totally do anything I needed to do in this, for sure. Between that and the, the other game. I, I love Long Live the Queen. She's such a- <laughs> Elodie's such a darling. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing, basically, I can edit these files. They have to remain the same size, most likely, but I can edit these to be whatever I want them to be. Um, I don't know where any of these go. <laughs> so I'm going to have to do some, um, experimentation to figure out where on earth all of these are, are occurring. But it looks like the only thing that overwrites that is if I change this. Yeah. <laughs> I I still need to get a bunch of achievements in it. Um This is for recompiling. Oh, I I understand now. Okay, yeah. So it the the compiled project is the uh RPYC files, but the editable ones are the ones without the C. Okay. Okay. All right. Interesting. Interesting. I... need to do some writing work then. Which I have the program to do it with! Oh my god, I need to show you guys this. I hope this does not crash my computer. I am going to close as many things as I possibly can so I do not crash my computer by opening this pro <laughs> So this is a program called Obsidian, and it's very cool because you can use it for note-taking, but I've personally been using it to um, compile all my inspiration images because I have a fuck ton. I think there's 4,000 images in this project right now. Let's see. System Explorer. Uh, properties. How many? <laughs> 4,136 files! Those are all images, folks, that are, that are in these random canvases I have. But, like, it, it's really helpful to be able to organize things visually like this for me, because I have so many random inspiration boards all over the fucking place. I'd like to put them all in one spot. <laughs> and um I might be pushing this program to its limits but I mean look I have so many wizard inspiration pictures I need them all in one spot I need to look at them as a whole <laughs> I'm trying to zoom in it is desperately trying to load Give it a moment. Oh, it, it got one in. Come on, you can do it. One more. One more scroll in, and then you should be Gucci. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we went off into into space. Where did everything go? Hello? Oh, everything disappeared. Oh, there it is. But, like, typically when I'm designing a character, like, I'll have, like... 15, 20 random tabs from my Tumblr opened up onto various different inspiration things that I was looking at to give me ideas. Same for Pinterest, I'd have like another dozen of those up. And it's annoying. It's fucking annoying. Because there's duplicates all over the place. And I have so many images I want to look at at the same time. It's just... Now I can. <laughs> I can look at them all at the same time. I can move these around. I don't have to worry about like accidentally having 20 different copies of the same fucking image, which is another thing when I was trying to store all these images in various other organization methods before I started using this. Um, but it's just oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. And like I can take notes in here and I can link all my stuff and it's great. And like, oh yeah, I can group things too, so like, this is a, a you can't see it right now because it's got a lot of those things unloaded, but all of these boxes are various links to different sites and uh, different 
just information about things. I've got a lot of things about disability. I've got science and history and culture, and I have a lot more things to add. And uh, I, you can add gifts in here and videos and stuff like that, so I can add things for showcasing how people actually move because that's a very useful thing for me as an artist and a writer. And it's a nice program and it's free. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm in love with it now. Um, and that back up because that's my current project thing that I'm working on. This is the style I'm trying to learn, by the way. This whole board is just references of this particular style, um, and I'm trying to teach myself, which is a, a very difficult style because it's so opposing to my normal one. Uh, but I've got a, a lot of references I've gathered in here. Uh, there's a lot of cookie run in here too because I I, re I realized when I was trying to find background references that cookie run actually has really good backgrounds in a very similar style. <laughs> so I was like, ah, oh, fuck, I gotta get all those. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of different people in here because I don't like referencing just one person when I'm trying to learn a style. I don't want to steal. Oh, and then I have, uh, this is gonna be a fun one when it's done. It's it's nowhere close to being it. Um, I previously divided a lot of my inspiration boards based off of a color theme. It would be a theme and a color associated with that. Um, and two of my favorites, or three of my favorites that I, I've gotten started in here are the kind of celestial in space theme, which is a lot of blue and gold and stars and lizards and all that, and then a particular favorite that I don't often personally use, but I would like to, is this inky black style. Very fun. And then, uh, of course, we've got our pastel magical girl up here. That's also very fun to use. All these kind of bleed into each other though, so like, I'm still working on organizing this board. But yeah, and I've got like a bunch of story stuff that I'm adding into here too, and so this, this is where I'm gonna be writing from now on because holy shit, it's very useful. But I'm gonna close this before I blue screen my computer because every time I open it, it uses like 40% of my memory because there's so many images in it now. Um, because I'm... I go a little bit overboard. But yeah. I've kind of lost my train of thought entirely of of things I was doing. Um I don't want to work on writing that particular game idea I had on stream because, you know, spoilers. Also, my writing process is kind of a mess. Also, holy shit, I have to wake up early tomorrow, and it is already 9.30. <laughs> yeah, but OBS uses, like, 30% of my computer's capacity already because it's a fucking attention whore. <laughs> so, I can only have so many things open at the same time as that in Firefox. The fact that I can run video games at the same time, which, by the way, sh this bullshit, I have a fancy fucking computer. I don't know why OBS is like this, but OBS is a menace. Uh, and so is Firefox. Chrome is worse. Firefox is just like this. Because, probably because of all of the extensions that I have open it on, on it at any given point in time. Um. Oh, sorry. I'm all sleepy. I've been sleepy all week. But yeah, I, I do have to wake up early tomorrow, so maybe I'll just do a little short stream today. And then... Um, I'll do a character design tomorrow or some shit. Maybe if I can get air server working. Again, it's being a little bitch, so... Who knows? Maybe we'll play a game for once. Maybe I'll finish that map for any. <laughs> it's in the work in progress pile. <sighs> Maybe I'll sew. Honestly, I need to do a lot of sewing. I have a shirt and a jacket to sew for myself, which is big size. I have another wizard hat to make because I saw a pretty fabric when I was getting fabric for my cosplay. Um, 
and I may have spent money on it when I probably shouldn't have, but my fucking god, is it gorgeous? Uh, I have a bunch of little, little doll clothes to make. I'm almost done with my Ambrosia doll. I'm so excited. I don't have a, like, a hat or any or the actual Ambrosia outfit for them, but, like, I just need to pour boiling water on the wig to flatten it out and like actually put the head on to the doll and whatnot and like they're good to go. Basically, I'm very pleased with myself. Uh, yes please. Please never like, if you have a game that you're like, I think somebody in the Discord would like this, especially me. If you have a game like that, please, please throw them my way. I probably won't play them myself, but I get a lot of enjoyment, like, when I'm working on art or animatics or literally anything, I constantly have to have things in the background, so I'm always listening to, like, random video games and stuff like that, and my brain needs new things that I can listen to people play <laughs> all the time. Please send me games. I will watch them. <laughs> I've- I've got the games you've sent me queued up and ready to go as soon as I end stream. Because <laughs> I'm gonna probably be working on, uh, animatic stuff, uh, after stream. I don't want to pull out my sewing machine today, because I still need to cut all my fabric for the shirt and for the jacket. I finished cutting the fabric for the second pair of doll pants that I need to make, but bleh. But yes. Before I get myself distracted again, I am going to close stream. Thank you for joining me on my merry band of chaos today. <laughs> Have a good night.